Hi there. We will derive an intuitive understanding of the Raoult's law in this video here. Water molecules evaporate and create a pressure called vapor pressure which is constant at the thermodynamic equilibrium. When we compare water and alcohol, we know that alcohol evaporates faster. Therefore, the vapor pressure created by alcohol will be significantly more than what is created by water. And this is because water has hydrogen bonds and water molecules evaporate with difficulty. So we have now established that different solvents have different vapor pressure. We will look at two cases now. One where a solid solute like salt or sugar is mixed in a solvent and second where two solvents are mixed together. When a solute like sugar is added in water, the molecules of sugar prevent the water molecules from evaporating and therefore the vapor pressure of this solution of water and sugar is less than the vapor pressure created by water. Here we have plotted the vapor pressure of the solution at different concentrations of sugar. So when the concentration of sugar is 0%, the vapor pressure of the solution is that of pure water. And as we add more sugar, the vapor pressure of the solution falls. In the second case, we consider a solution of water and alcohol. Here in the vapor phase, we now have fewer molecules of water in the vapor phase, but we now have molecules of alcohol in the vapor phase. So the total vapor pressure of this solution is the sum of vapor pressure created by the alcohol molecules and the vapor pressure created by the water molecules. And this is what Raoult's law states. If Pa is the partial pressure created by A, which is alcohol in our case, and Pb is the partial pressure created by B, which is water in our case, the total vapor pressure over the solution is a sum of the partial pressure created by A and the partial pressure created by B. Notice here that the partial pressure created by A depends upon the relative concentration of A with respect to B. Here Xa and Xb represent the mole fraction of A and B in the solution. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.